the most common questions that I receive in my inbox is whether or not I recommend these little straps and braces that pull your shoulders back and hold them into place. And there are lots of different kinds of these, lots of different brands, lots of different versions, but they all basically come across the front of your shoulders and kind of pull you back into an open chested posture. And the short answer is that no, I do not recommend these products. And there are two big reasons for that. Uh, the first one is just that if your shoulders are forward, then it means that your chest is tight and your upper back is weak. And so while these contraptions will stretch your chest out a little bit and they'll even kind of let you know what it feels like to have your shoulders back, they're doing nothing to address the problem of your upper back being weak. And as a matter of fact, it'll even atrophy your muscles if you wear it all day long. So I would definitely recommend doing stretches and exercises. It's slower progress, but it will last longer term. This is just a quick fix that does nothing for you the second you take it off and it might even be harmful. Um, the second reason I don't recommend it is that right here in this region, this is your brachial plexus. It's a super highway of nerves and blood vessels. I've been wearing this thing for about 15 minutes and I already feel like tingling in my fingers. I don't feel very good. Part of the reason why having forward shoulders is considered dangerous is because it's pinching this super highway here and this brace does exactly that same thing. So my favorite posture product is actually a wedge and that's because it can help you keep your weight forward on your pelvis on your sits bones and because the second that you let your weight roll back toward your tailbone you can automatically see it puts my whole back into a curve juts my head forward and you know lets my shoulders hang forward so staying on the proper spot on your pelvis really is the key to healthy sitting posture and so this little wedge um, I actually bought one exactly like this for my daughter and she sits on it all day in her third grade classroom um, you can kind of just slide it you can well you can sit back as far as you want on it just depending on where I like sitting a little more forward on it and you can see it's going to tilt my pelvis forward and just make it so I can really effortlessly keep my weight on my sits bones and I'd be pretty hard pressed to roll my weight back on, on this thing. Um, so anyways, you can also get one that's a little bit less invasive. Here's an example of a smaller one. Um, it's just kind of made of bean bag um, material. And again, you just kind of lean forward, tuck it under your bottom and sit back on it. And it just gives you that little tiny bit of extra support and it's a nice barrier and reminder to keep you from slouching back. Now, you don't have to spend money to have something like this. You can actually just use a rolled up towel or something if you just wanna get into the habit of staying forward. You don't have to spend a lot of money on this stuff. I also get a lot of questions about little devices that you can either clip to your shirt or I've seen one that like you can tape to your upper back and they buzz every time they sense you slumping. I had the Lumo Lift but and they're all pretty much the same. And no, I do not recommend these products. Um, the thing that I found most frustrating about the one that I had was that it can't tell the difference between if you're slumping and if you're just like reaching forward to grab a cup of coffee or something. And so it was just buzzing all the time and it was not like indicative of my posture whatsoever. Um, but the main reason that I don't like them is that they're just a device that's going to nag at you. It only tells you when you have unhealthy posture, but it's not helping to teach you how to maintain healthy posture. You're much better off, um, for example, looking at the videos on this YouTube channel and learning how to set up your work environment and how to build habits and do stretches and exercises that are gonna support healthy posture for your whole life and not just make you reliant on a little device. So this is a little ergonomic foot mat and this particular one was designed to be a companion to a standing desk but I actually use it in front of my kitchen sink because um, my floor is very hard and I'm always barefoot in my house and it feels 
really nice on my feet. Anytime you're going to be on your feet for a long period of time, you definitely want to make sure that you either have an ergonomic foot mat or really supportive shoes because otherwise it's going to put a lot of pressure on your lower back and it's going to really add to fatigue and aches and pains. Um, this particular one was a freebie um, and I just got it in exchange for reviewing it on YouTube and I, I actually really like it. Um, it has these little foot massager um, things here and so I can get a little foot massage while I'm doing the dishes which um, is great because I really do need some incentive to uh, clean up the kitchen sometimes. So definitely explore one of these. This next one is a neck traction device. I've seen a couple different models um, of these online lately and all you do is you put your head in it and you hang this end up on a doorknob. And this is a nice device. I actually had a physical therapist recommend this sort of neck traction to me years ago when I was experiencing shoulder pain. Um, but a little secret is he told me how to make my own. This is just a towel that I've folded up and I've just kind of tied some rope around it and it's the same exact thing and this part just kind of hangs on the doorknob. So if you decide to purchase one of these, there are a couple benefits to that. Um, this one comes with a little gel pack that you can put inside and you can you know, get heat or cold when you're um, using it. And um, also it's a little bit stretchy. I like having a little bit of, of a give to it as well. Also, this particular one can be morphed into a device that will help train you not to have forward head posture. And so what this one does is you put it on the back of your head, you clip this into the door frame, and then you practice going from forward head posture and then just pulling your chin in. You just do little chin tuck exercises and the idea is that it's going to strengthen the muscles in the back of your neck and your upper back. Um, I tried this a couple times and I think that I kind of overdid it and my neck was really sore so I would definitely recommend starting very slow if you're going to be doing the um, chin tuck exercises with one of these devices. So two posture devices that I use every single day or every single night rather are these particular pillows. I sleep with them every night. Um, I originally started using a knee pillow because a physical therapist recommended it to me because I was experiencing lower back pain and I am addicted to this thing. It's wonderful. It's a little hourglass shape and you just put it between your thighs and so then when you lie down, it's going to keep your knees stacked on top of each other. When your one knee juts forward or back, your lower back is twisting. And so this just kind of keeps you snugly supported and it keeps your lower back from being kind of tweaked into a weird position and kind of inflaming an already volatile area for a lot of people, for me anyways. Um, this next one, this is a travel size pillow. Um, I have a full size one as well in my bed and you can see it has like a little dip in the middle and one side is higher. Now I love this because it keeps my neck aligned when I'm sleeping. I have to be honest, it took a little bit of getting used to, but now I'm completely addicted to it. And so again, all I'm doing is this big loop goes under my neck here and it puts me in a wonderful aligned position. Whereas like some other pillows will kind of like stick you in a weird kinked position. And ever since I've been using an ergonomic pillow, I have not had that experience of waking up and being like, oh, I slept wrong on my neck. That hasn't happened to me for years and years since I've been using this. So I definitely would recommend getting one and getting the travel one as well. I take it with me everywhere I go.